如果我们谈到上海纽约大学，我们一定会回顾到纽约大学上海中心这一段历史。二零零六年，纽约大学是派了好几批人到国内来，来考察了上海的那个整个一个环境。One of the earliest study away sites was nestled in ECNU in Shanghai. Well, it started as a start business program, but then it developed very quickly. Into a study away site. President Sexton and I and others were very interested in moving NYU toward a global network university. There were a few、uh, study away sites, which are places in, at some of the most、um, wonderful cities in the world. 那么这个代表团里边有一个中国的教授 Frank Tang， 就是唐立行教授。二零零六年 ，NYU 的代表团。就到上海，那个时候我们代表团大概是六个人吧。他们觉得，呃，华东师范大学可能是他们最理想的、呃、合作伙伴，所以二零零六年他们就决定了，说我们要跟华师大合作，来设立一个 NYU 上海 Center。啊，那就开始谈判了。华师大出来的是谁呢？陈群陈校长。他们来访的主要目的，就是希望在上海。找一所学校建一个美国纽约大学的海外学习中心，叫 Studying Away Site。我觉得后面的故事的源头都在这里。那一年五月份，我是带了华萨的代表团去纽约大学访问。我们一进纽约大学校长办公室 ，John Sexton 他迎面就说了一段话：在今天这个全球化时代，大学的教育不应该建立在一种文化的基础上，而应该建立在多元文化的基础上。我们应该让我们的学生，在大学四年的学习过程当中，有更多的机会接触不同文化背景的同学，有更多的机会能够去体验不同文化的环境，让他们看到一个更大的世界。So there's a way that this very powerful way of looking at humanity, as where you could still identify、uh, the metaphor I used was the elements of a watch. You could still identify the elements of the watch individually, but when the watch Came together with all those elements integrated. 我觉得他这一段话，确实是体现了在今天这个时代背景下面，我们大学教育应有之义吧。在二零零八年的时候，纽约大学校长就提出，能不能在上海设立一个纽约大学的上海分校，那叫 NYU 上海 Branch。How in the 21st century could you not have a major deep encounter with China? It was a big deal. 零九年，中国驻美国大使周文忠先生，他应邀去纽约大学访问。John Sexton 邀请周文忠去访问 NYU， 这样就跟他沟通了这个想法。周文忠大使听了以后，马上表达了支持。他说：“我绝对支持，我举双手支持。<笑>”那么他当然从更大的角度，就是说，说这个是对中美关系、中美交流。文化教育是有很大的这个好处的，所以周孟忠先生呢，就是回去以后写了封信给教育部，同时抄送给上海市教委和华东师范大学。教育部的态度是非常明确，就是说，呃，我们会支持你们把这个学校办好。二零一一年的一月份是正式批准筹建。We trusted those of us in the founding group had a deep trust for you. But during that formative time, Li Zhongyu, who was president of ECNU and Vice President Chen, was absolutely essential. Now, on our side, of course, a very, very key person,、uh, only slightly later, was Jeff Lehman. And once he was present, even as a consultant, then he played an absolutely major role. The creation、uh, of the university is a very complicated project, and it wasn't clear that that would actually be possible、uh, at the beginning. Uh, but after a year of year and a half of conversations, it became clear that it was going to happen. 一直到二零一二年的九月份，就正式批准去筹。上海纽约大学成立是有一个天时地利人和，就是有一个天时。呃，因为教育部正好是在制定教育国家教育中长期改革发展规划，这个规划里边提到了这个这个国际合作和中外合作办学的。这个事情，所以他们很希望能够办一所高质量、高水平的中外合作办学的那个学校。
华师大，我记得当时是承担“二加一”一个项目，“ 2 1加一”这个“一”呢，是我们跟上海市教委、跟上海市人民政府一起，呃，承担的就是中外合作办学的这个探索吧。所以就把上海女医大学作为他们目标当中的一个一一一个标杆吧。所以我基本上是在把呃这个上海女医大学的这个建设呢，看作是华东师范大学承担国家的教育改革发展规划。呃，纲要的一个实施的一个项目，浦东新区，他一直想引进一所世界一流的大学，这是地理。浦东 and Shanghai have been great partners. China would be a perfect place, and Shanghai was almost the perfect place in China because it was so similar in everything to New York. 浦东是一个热土，纽约大学在纽约呢，它是坐落在曼哈顿的华盛顿广场。它是一个城市中的大学，大学当中的城市，它以这样的方式生存了将近两百年，所以它寻求伙伴的时候，它也希望寻找到它在曼哈顿那样的一个城市氛围。这一点呢，要感谢浦东新区政府，所以就有了今天我们在世纪大道一千五百五十五号的这样一个校址。上海方面的，浦东新区方面的，华师大和纽约大学，大家都有这样的一种积极性。希望能够把这所学校能够办起来，那这也是我们上海纽约大学能够成功的一个很重要的一个推动力。大家都有这个愿望，这就是人和。Well, we had a commonality of goals, but we also had a commonality of spirit, and we trusted each other. The city of Shanghai, the district of Pudong, Guashida, and NYU, to agree on a common vision. Uh, for what the university would become. The thing that, that is most important to uh, emphasize uh, is that uh, all four parties really wanted this to really work. Whenever difficulties arose, challenges arose, the mood of all four parties was to uh, uh, find a way to, to solve those challenges. So there's tremendous opportunity that comes when people who are different from each other work together. So you have to be constantly thinking about multiple constituencies. Mine has a sort of geopolitical component and I have to make sure that I'm not causing offense on either side or contravening. It's not easy to work out ways to bring things together in that way. And I think that that's a unique aspect of this job, which I didn't really fully grasp until I, <clears throat> until I started doing it. Well, there was never any question on either side that we wanted a liberal arts college. For everything in, in this broad definition of professional schools, one could include especially things like the applied sciences that you see in Quran. But we want all of that to be done in the context of the full human. Uh, we really want the curriculum to be grounded in the liberal arts and sciences. Now, the curriculum we're talking about is the undergraduate curriculum. We're a liberal arts university. Here's what the core curriculum is like in our College of Arts and Sciences. Yours needs to resemble it. 通识性教育，他说这个各个背景，各个知识要扩大你的背景知识，对吧？然后这样的话，充分的交流融合。那么我们现在这个设计是课时数哎，课程数不算特别多，但是呢，希望每门课都是扎扎实实的。既具有呃批判性思维的这个能力，同时，呃，又是创造性啊、探索的啊这样一种兴趣。And in our case, it was two sets. The requirements of the accreditation agencies here in the U.S. The requirement of、uh, requirements of the Ministry of Education in China. The Chinese education system looking at say, no, actually, we they have their requirements of a core curriculum, what students have to do. And so we had to balance the two. 同时呢，又能够满足中国各级教育主管部门。对我们的课程的这个认认可，恰恰是课程体系，是中外合作办学里面最难逾越的一座山。它的基础呢是纽约大学的通识教育的体系，就是我们是借鉴了纽约大学的通识教育体系，但是又做了很多变动。它的变动的主要的内涵就是一个更加强调了全球视野，更加强调了多元文化，更加强调了跨学科。
更加强调了中国元素。At NYU Shanghai, they developed it with a focus on the, the liberal arts and sciences. They developed it with a focus on making sure that the curriculum had a global perspective. And also,、uh, in Shanghai, it was important that the areas of the curriculum,、uh, at least some of them,、uh, be chosen that would be consistent with the, 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 the needs of, of Chinese and, and Shanghai people、uh, as they perceived them. 最初的时候，我们提出的是十二个专业。第一个一定是纽约大学的强势专业，就是纽约大学是优优势的专业。第二个是要符合我们中国，特别是上海的人才需要的这个专业。第三个是我们必须要考虑学生将来深造读研，不管他们将来去读什么研究生，他都能够找到一个接口的地方。所以当时我们是考虑了这么十二个专业啊。因为中国人的概念里，专业还是很重要的，是吧？对招生也很重要。NYU 最好的、最有竞争力的学科，比如金融 （Applied Mathematics）， 应用数学，因为它的 Brain Institute of Mathematics 确实是最一流的。我知道他们的 Brain Science 在快速发展，那么他们看好 Brain Science 的未来 ，Cognitive 也是也是他们的一个重点。另外一个呢是 Data Science， 那时候还比较早，刚刚大数据这个概念刚刚开始兴起。我们就想把这些好的都搬过来，所以我们希望它的这个优质的啊教育资源能够体现在这所中外合作大学。Balancing the change、uh, to the uh, uh, the way NYU in New York had evolved away from this Amer an American centric approach to the core curriculum to balancing that with a desire of the Chinese system to, to for us to still do that to a certain extent. 在这个全球化的这个时代，呃，特别是对于受过高等教育的这个呃年轻人来讲。不能做个狭隘的爱国主义者，要有世界眼光。那么我们这里提供的这个课程，包括我们呃所做的这个师生关系的设计、同学关系的这个设计，呃，学校和社区、当地社区之间关系的这个设计，都着眼于呃我们的同学们能够在一个更高的、更宽的一个视野当中来，来来看待自己的呃传统。The Oresteia, which is a great、uh, Greek tragedy by Aeschylus, they get this exposure to some of the great texts of the Western world, and we look at China as well. So we Laozi, we you know, have Laozi in my course as well.、Uh, so it's a wonderful. It does what I think perspectives on the humanities should do is that it covers multiple cultures. And also, so I'm in the China Global China Studies program. But the courses I teach, of course, count for that program. But they're also all count for the core curriculum,、um, which is the course which is now called、uh, Interdisciplinary Perspective on China (IPC). So all my courses count for that core curriculum that all students have to take. So that was a very ambitious, integrated project, and students at that time really loved this. However, some students couldn't、uh, follow this because this is very hard and challenging courses. We temporarily decided to divide this into pieces, a little conventional pieces: foundation of physics, foundation of chemistry, and foundation of biology. So now, these courses、uh, have、uh, some course equivalence with、uh, NYU New York courses. And students can focus on their own fields. One of the special courses is, is GPS, Global Perspectives on Society. I was personally part of the conversations around GPS from the very beginning. The goal here is to make sure that all of the students in the entering class are taking one course together. It's a course on the history of ideas and a, a sort of intellectual history in. Multiple places, but especially focusing on Western ideas and Chinese ideas, and it became the signature first-year experience. It was something that you might love or you might hate, but you all did it together. The idea of having an interactive media arts major、uh, was original. It was built on a, a graduate program that NYU has in New York. They didn't have an undergraduate one. We thought, you know, this is exciting. Let's see if we could do it at the undergraduate level as a major.、It、became very popular here, and so New York has now got it as an undergraduate major there too. And so there is this feedback loop process 
for NYU in New York. We have this program called um, ITP, or the Interactive Telecommunications Program. And this ITP would be a wonderful program to have at NYU Shanghai because um, it's just a lot of the Chinese students I'd interacted with there just were awesome. I think the plan was for majors in IMA when we were first opening, and, and we ended up with very rapidly almost the entire school in our classes. NYU Shanghai out there that's able to try things, and if they look really good, then you copy them. Great faculty attract great faculty. And when, when you have faculty such as the leaders of the Karate Institute of Mathematics saying, Wow, I want to get over there. We are looking for New York then it's fairly easy to recruit faculty from New York to go. And of course, once the very best faculty in New York are going to Abu Dhabi and Shanghai, then it's very easy to set in motion a faculty recruitment process. In our first year, lots of our faculty were visitors who came from all over the world and from NYU. And we had French mathematicians and we had Israeli economists and so on and so forth. People, many of whom were very experienced senior teachers who were used to teaching first year programs. Academy of Arts and Science. professor. The quality of the faculty, the faculty, uh, we, we only want to hire either faculty who are stars uh, or faculty who are very, uh, who are young and have the potential to become stars. The our faculty here are creating a university. It means having a certain uh, spirit, attitude that takes pride not only in the work that they do as individuals, but in the work that they do collectively, in the work that they do as a community. And I've learned much more outside history than I ever learned in all that time. It's, it's just a, a different thing, but it makes you think about things in different ways. I, I must say I, I very much enjoy it. I enjoy being able to interact with uh, with other uh, students and professors in all the different disciplines that we have here, both on, at a social level, at a friendship level, but also at an intellectual level, discussing possible collaborations that we may be able to do together, interdisciplinary collaborations. Um, I love the fact that it's really small. Um, it's very efficient. You can be innovative and creative because you just don't have to ask that many people for um, permission, right? It's like you get a very clear answer very quickly. Uh, that was one big difference is to be working as part of an interdisciplinary program, which I really liked actually. It's been a great benefit of being here. You know, working with that group of faculty members and thinking about that project has really made me rethink, you know, the role of environmental history in an urban setting. And often people have said, oh, I never realized that this person was working on the same thing that I'm working on from a different perspective, and now we're going to collaborate. So that's a big part of our sort of collaborative and interdisciplinary research. And it's enabled us to set up broad projects. Actually, the school provides very good research support, uh, like a good startup fund and 
also the Visenya connection and the Chinese University connection that was really uh, attractive to me. I think our faculty here are unusual in, in, in the extent to which they take pride when a colleague publishes important research. They take pride in the fact that one of our students has won some incredible fellowship. There is a sense of identification that our faculty have with the, the work of the whole school. It's important for the continued progress of humanity with these qualities. Um, and I just feel lucky to, to, to have them as my colleagues. NYU Shanghai has been a magnet for talents. We have Chinese students, Chinese graduate students. This way, we can make it a multi-level And trying to make sure we matched appropriately with the right students. And in the selection process, and I was intimately involved with in the selection process, and it probably had individual conversations in the early years, eyeball to eyeball, with every one of the students that was eventually a student. And the, the mantra I repeated again and again is, if in doubt, the answer should be no. If we have doubt about whether you get the mission, we're going to say no to you. Don't be hurt. It just means we don't see you as being part of this. We, we don't, we're not convinced you fully get this eccentric mission we're about to go on. And if you doubt about whether you or not you want to be part of it, please say no, even if we say we think you could do it. So it was all about matching. It wasn't recruiting. Campus Day, Shiba, Wagwan, the Piwagwan, or Jungo the Jaso Ichilai, Tongo, Gensu, the Jolio, or Ladu, Shuzun, Shenzo, Panda, Kanga, the Subasu, Suho, Dog, Namayu Shanghai, to Hanji, the Lashi. It means it creates that special environment of students seeking out each other to learn about their countries, to their cultures, their religions, their politics, their their family lives, and that is so enriching, so enriching, so important in the, the educational life of a, of a student. And you know, at NYU Shanghai, it's in their DNA. It, NYU Shanghai is, is not for everyone. I often say it, NYU itself, NYU New York, is not for everyone. You need to, to have an excitement about the world, and an excitement about the study of it. You need to have a real yearning to explore, to learn, and to recognize. 可能他不是传统意义上的好学生，可能不是那种传统意义上的竞赛或者是那种顶尖的天才学生，但是至少他会有一种特质，就是他敢拼，他敢闯，他敢去试错。The college experience is about autonomy and critical thinking. So the, the point is for students to understand the time where they could just absorb uh, knowledge is over. They need to start questioning it. They cannot rely only on their professors and instructors to gain knowledge. They need to start digging on their own. What we hope is that our students are going to be, once they graduate, are going to be the next generation that is going to participate to that process of knowledge creation. Yes, I'm supposed to help them acquire a certain body of knowledge or set of skills, but that's limited to my course. If you can inspire them or take some form of unconsciousness away from them so that they see the world before them in a different way or a new way, if you can trigger their desire for discovery, then they will keep learning long after they leave you. I think that's probably my most important mission as an educator, no matter what I'm teaching. I will open this door called Science, Technology and Society, 
不同背景的话，你教起来是很很很困难的。但是为了扩大他们眼界，因为我上课就跟他们说说，你现在来的这门课叫神经科学。这叫认知神经科学，而是在人脑之中的研究认知神经科学。但我说，这个可能是你这辈子，就这这么一次，你会接触到这么这么直观的关于人脑的研究。我会组织这些不同背景的同学，真正去我那实验室去做一次实验。他们从来没见过真正的做这人脑的研究。The main thing that I try to convey to students is. Or the main challenge I have with students is that many students come in with a very utilitarian attitude to their studies. I really encourage the students to not think in those utilitarian ways about their studies. I try to persuade them that they should just treat their their four years in university as an opportunity to simply learn and grow intellectually and follow their interests and take classes that that fit with the kind of work they like to do. Without a view to where it's going to lead them. Even when I'm teaching, I don't focus on telling them like, these are the skills you need to be X or Y. For me, it's more like if I'm mentoring them or teaching them, is to kind of give them a high high level, but make sure they do a project. I think part of it is like really helping them, of course, find their own voice, find who they are, who they want to be. As individuals, but especially also in relation to others, and in relation to the world, in relation to community. But I think it's very much also about you know the development of them as as human beings. It's important to help them develop their thinking and help them to be able to articulate their thoughts in the undergrad. I think they should, it's important for them for them to develop their own interests and what they would like to pursue after their undergraduate study. And also independent thinking. This will help them to、um, to flourish as as they step out of the university, and to to plan ahead further, not just for looking for a job, but what they really want to pursue in, for the rest of their life. The idea is that an important part of NYU Shanghai's goal is to create graduates who are very effective in multicultural settings. That means learning to. Work with and live with、uh, people from other cultures, and so most of them will be. Our hope is that they will be well equipped. Whatever they decide to do, they have a good, sound academic training. We've taught them the basics of how to think and how to assess any given situation, or what sort of tools to bring to. Any given situation, and how to communicate with people. And again, they gain a kind of cross-cultural knowledge and、uh, fluency and comfort,、um, both in terms of yeah, their sort of cultural knowledge, but also their intellectual knowledge, right? And their intellectual capacities, and they kind of take what's best about. The learning culture of China and what's best about the learning culture of America, and they're able to synthesize those things. I think one of our signature programs since day one has always been our roommate program.、Um, the fact that we are half Chinese and half international、um, is something that isn't replicable、um, right now in any other place、um, in the world. And so, being able to see、um, what happens when a student.、Uh, Begins their journey together as、uh, roommates. My roommate, you know, so、um, you know, freshman year, your pair, every international student is paired with a Chinese student, and I, my roommate Alicia, I love her to death, but we were finding ways to help each other through it, and I think that that、uh, was really special. 就是能摩擦出很多很多不一样的火花。我能够和一个外国友人就成为挚友，对吧？无话不谈的朋友。We want to be a school where people can disagree. Respectfully, where they can actually be excited when they discover they disagree. 上一年这些这些年来的幻术，实际上面在我们本科生的培养方面已经形成了自己的鲜明的特点。我们强调的是主动学习，就是把选择权都给了学生。我们是推迟选择专业。上海纽约大学是真正让学生有两年的时间来接触不同的东西，来发现他的兴趣到底在哪里。One of the things you want to do with students is shift their thought, their thinking, 
When, most, when students come to college, most students are here because of other people's decisions. What they think they want to major in is because other people of other people's preferences. So you want to get them to understand their own preferences and be able to make their own decisions. You have so many choices and you can take any class you want and it allows you a time to like explore your interests. And I think because of this, um, I ended up doing something very different from what I uh, expected of myself. Poshwomanzoida 我们把这个质量，把这个水平，学术质量，学术水平，啊，看的是我们的生命线。These core pillars of our mission to create knowledge through research, disseminate knowledge through teaching. One of the things that we set out to do was to create a research environment that was a little bit different from what you sometimes find in Chinese universities. Here we were really looking primarily to hire people who we thought were really promising and were going to be the next generation of great scholars, but not necessarily people who had already done their best work. Joint Research Center at NYU Shanghai 就是在上海纽约大学的平台上面建了纽约大学跟华东师范大学的联合研究中心包括科学方面的 have a research institute structure where uh, certain fields are um, selected to uh, to form institutes which uh, focus on that field. We, we've chosen fields that um, are natural for NYU Shanghai. So in addition to these joint research institutes, um, they provide certain special facilities for our research. For example, they have provided um, a certain biological bi biology labs for our faculty. We have a number of psychology labs at ECNU, and they have a, um, a brand new imaging center for MRI that our faculty can use for joint projects. These days, it's really a joint effort between ECU and NYU. NYU has a very strong neuroscience program, a company of neuroscience program, too. And ECU also have a very strong tradition in uh, cognitive neuroscience or psychology. And faculty share a lot of interests in, in research directions like working memory, decision making. So we, we have a lot of interaction and have a lot in common. So there are more than 30 faculties in the joint institute. 华沙有两个华沙有一个这个合作研究所有四所 so fields for which critical mass is not all that far away. And those research institutes have been doing very well. At NYU Shanghai, they have very cleverly focused on certain areas of science, and, and one which has made great strides is in, in brain science, in, in uh, neuroscience, and, and it's been really enjoyable to see 
the, the growing strength, the, the, the effectiveness of collaborations with East China Normal University and the impact that has had on research. 同时我们也成立了一些自己的研究机构 pleasures that I've had here is that many very, very strong uh, undergraduates here that are almost at the PhD level in their mentality and their capabilities. When you're trying to become a researcher, you will find that less, uh, fewer and fewer people around you are going to know the answer. That's really different because, because you start to realize that, that you cannot just aim for a good grade. 他讓我知道說可以是個不可怕的事情,然後他往往會想到去突破你的東西,去更新你的框架,這我就從來不敢想,想都不敢想,但是呢,他教會了我說,呃,說前人的研究並不是百分百可靠的,有可能是錯的,
that means then is that does reflect well on the city of Shanghai. It shows that Shanghai is the kind of international crossroads that can attract and help to build uh, this kind of institution. Well, I don't think anyone expected that we would have realized the vision in 10 years, but I think, we're, I think that we are well set on the path. But the vision in part was to set it on a foundation of excellence and then to, to see where it went, as it were, and to help guide it in good directions. And to that extent, I think it's, it's, it's well set, but it, we haven't got there yet. And maybe you can never say, okay, we've done that, it's all set. I think it's, it's always a dynamic, ongoing process, and we're definitely still in the early stages of that. It's the best of its kind, and it's the one that has had the most impact. And I would say that impact is on both the country that hosts it in China, but also equally the country that is part of it, the university that are part, is part of it in NYU in the United States of America. And to me, the impact comes in, on, on many levels. I think on one of them, it is, it is demonstrating to the world what can be achieved when we work together when we work together as countries, when we work together as, as academic institutions, something truly new, something truly remarkable, something truly unique can be created. And that is what has happened at, at NYU Shanghai. And we've succeeded in these first 10 years of both building and maintaining excellence and maintaining our core values. We got a great team going and we're gonna keep going because it's unthinkable not to keep going. 如果你只允许我用一个词来形容上六大，我想探索与众不同的 transformative the essence of the world in one university eclectic is 一个新字 audacious exciting popular to everyone 光彩夺目真正无与伦比 is idealistic 天下无双吧丰富一幢楼的学校其实它的丰富度是跨时空开放 possibility I would say Intentional. I will make learning a unit. Nimble. Experience. I think it will be like home. I believe it's synergy. It's the power of the air. Diverse. Confidence. Unicorn. Colorful. Path-breaking educational institution. Connected. Community. Global citizen. It's the bridge. It's open. It's innovative. Family. Sincere wishes to the Shanghai University. It can be a true university. 世界有影响力的大学，能够为人类文明和社会进步做出应有的贡献。衷心祝福上海纽约大学。Congratulations to、uh, everybody at、uh, NYU Shanghai。上海纽约大学能够保持住自己的独特性，坚持质量标准，早日成为一流的研究型大学。Congratulations to the entire NYU Shanghai community. It is because of you. That we are celebrating this special milestone. Congratulations, NYU Shanghai, on the achievement of our 10th anniversary. 足上纽大在风风雨雨当中，更加茁壮的成长。And I look forward to celebrating in another 10 years at the 20th anniversary celebration. We made it this far, and we will be better tomorrow. So we start our first step. Every step, we need to have conviction. Courage and belief in our vision and our mission. Shanghai New Year 大学生日快乐！上海纽约大生日快乐，未来可期！祝上海纽约大学十周年快乐！上海纽约大学，恭喜我们做到了！我希望在新的十年里面，我和上海纽约大学能够共同成长。Congratulations, NYU Shanghai! It's amazing that we made it. Congratulations, NYU Shanghai. Congratulations, especially to the leadership and people who were involved in the early days setting up. Congratulations, NYU Shanghai, for your 10th anniversary. I look forward to the next 10 years. Congratulations, NYU Shanghai. Congratulations, NYU Shanghai. We will always be proud of you. Go Violet. Great promise you have come. Good luck. Let our passion for excellence become the most important part of our curriculum. Congrats, 10th anniversary, and happy birthday. I think the experiment is going really well. 
and I look forward to the next 10 years. Joyeux anniversaire uh, NYU Shanghai. Happy New Year, Dao. Happy New Year, Dao. In the future, I wish our NYU Shanghai in a flagship to lead global community of education and research. Happy birthday, NYU Shanghai. 十周年快乐，十岁生日快乐。Happy 10th anniversary, NYU Shanghai. 我们期待上纽大下一个更好的十年。Congratulations, NYU Shanghai. Happy 10th anniversary. 亲爱的上海纽约大学，真心的祝贺你十周岁的生日。也希望你在未来的十年，以及更多更多的十年，越来越成熟，越来越有魅力。Happy birthday! So here we are, ten years later. Congratulations! What you've done has exceeded anything we could have dreamt, as this was in formation. You've done it. Don't get overconfident. Keep at it, so that when we get to the 25th anniversary.